from a f galaxy far far away called Denmark uh, okay I tried to contact you with comments on YouTube it's in impossible to do this because they are just disappear uh, I try to put a link to my blog with uh, this very solution of the uh, problem that we have with OpenSUSE when we want to install some uh, minimal desktop like uh, I don't know uh, box, flux box, black box and yada 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 uh, this is a problem that uh, looks like this that you can't start your X using the start X command yeah, I'll try to I have tried to contact you by Twitter but I can't send any messages DM messages to people I don't know why I don't know what your uh, discord is so I making this video okay enough of me talking all around uh, let's make start the installations installation oh and really sorry for my English my English is kinda crap but <laughs> I can do nothing about it about it right now so let's start the install F3 for test installation enter escape and enter once again okay on my old PC it will, it will took forever to start this installation so I will pause that there will be lots of pauses during this video okay now we can choose uh, our repos so yes to use the selected repository matching bot image yada 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 yes and pause that And now we are in the installer. Okay. I will left leave all the settings here as default because I want to perform the English installation. Because I suspect if I use Polish language it would be strange for you to read the screens even if you know them well okay next come on so now I want the online repositories to be add I don't want to use any repositories by but those selected already I don't need a source F10 adding the repositories ok let's pause that ok now we are in business all we need is this just server nothing more nothing less just server yes next which is F10 oh Jesus Christ it's slow okay but I'm not in uh, United States I'm in Europe and I'm in Poland even if the repos are in Germany this is a country that is closed close 
to the Poland so we are neighbors basically so I want to be in Poland to have better and faster connection okay let's we create some user next yeah I want to use this password and now we pause that and we use next to god damn it install the system okay I click next now I just wait and now the installation is started I can pause that because if I don't you, you will be watching the installation for next 20 or 30 minutes which is crazy okay I have no idea why it's the landing uh, ELVV Ateros firmware and uh, something like that when we are installing pure server but okay it's strange but it is what it is basically I'm just few days into the open source and from what I can observe this is a much better system in terms of in terms of uh, maintenance than the Debian itself. Now, even if we install only the uh, uh, the mine server, it's bloated anyway. But I can live with that. I can manage with that. I can remove those things Debian is better in uh, performing a slimmer basic installations than the uh, than the open source but I'm sorry source takes the cake in terms of maintaining the system and, but I'm really amazed with that Okay, I will shut up and let the installation to get finished and now we and then we start from from there from there sorry sorry for my English once again okay let's update this to the newest snapshot because this is the old snapshot ESO uh, virtual machine I will pause that ok I add the uh, vendor switch uh, allow vendor change switch just to check what it will do it will do nothing in my case but I was just curious okay holy, sh holy shit it was update itself from the old uh, uh, snapshot to the new uh, while it's installing itself wow I just thought that it will be mm, use uh, old repos from the old uh, snapshot but nope it use new repositories from the new snapshots during the installation okay let's edit file etc zip zip conf and add one line 
because if we don't do this, do this, we will end up with the uh, bloated system. Okay, we need solver dot only requires equals true. Okay, let's we just uh, delete one thing from here. <laughs> now it looks okay. And now we put another line in here. I don't know if I should put both of them or not, but I put both and that gives me the uh, outcome I want to have. Okay, that's the line or the lines that we need to have to uh, prevent bloated installation. Okay, now I just refreshed the uh, zipper and reboot my system, which is crucial. This is basically needed to do the reboot. Now we can go with just to patterns and use the minimal xorg pattern, but exclude everything from this pattern exclude everything but the pattern x11 x11 base uh, I'm sure of it that we can found this pattern elsewhere but I found it here for first time so I use this way of uh, finding and enabling it. Okay, I have only this, nothing more. Patterns base X11, and I just accept that. Okay, quite a bit packages goes with this. I will pause my video once more it is already too long I talk too much ok it's only 461 packages <laughs> it's much better than the thousand from the last of my installation so yes uh, this is a good idea to edit the uh, zip, zip conf and uh, tell the zipper to not install the recommend packages. Fuck! It's a basic XOR install, and I have a bunch of KDE packages in it. What the fuck, mate? Okay, no comment. Uh, cross eye oven. Okay. I will remove that later. I don't need a quarter part of this shit, basically. Let's finish this. Okay. Uh, just quit. Clear. And now we are starting to install really relevant packages for us because if we exit and start it now we will see this okay okay those are the set of packages that us that are absolutely crucial for starting uh, X after the installation. So we need uh, Xenit, XDM, Fluxbox, Network Manager, Network Manager, uh, minus uh, or hyphen applet. Okay, let's go install it. 
Okay, the packets are installed. Yeah, we need 23 new packages, and we just confirm that we want to install this fit. Now I will pause that. Now we can try to start text, and you will see what happens next after I use the start text. Curva if it work. Yeah, I get this. I don't want to have this shit. But I don't have the error that I previous have. So this is better than the first time I do this because I didn't install uh, XDM when I do this first time without XDM the start X even not even work on SUSE okay okay I will pause that once again okay P U D we are here and we need to create win dot Init RC insert the exact exact flux uh, box. Now we just can escape it and save this goddamn file. Basically now I can restart or log off, it doesn't matter what I will do. I will just restart. And pause that after reboot and giving a uh, start x command it will uh, give you the error that x out doesn't exist yeah now when you try to do this once again it will still complain oh it doesn't complain anymore and now you have working Flexbox on the old version from the last week of OpenSUSE you should uh, give one more step to make it work you should change your uh, I'm sorry I must find my notes about this you should change uh, mode of user bin xorg to 4755 without that step after the installation of xorg you can do anything on the world you want to do it will not work without it a week ago yet now it works without that step this is all. This is all I can uh, show you. This is all I can uh, tell about it. Uh, one thing I can uh, tell you. Fuck. Sorry for my English. One more thing I can tell you is that if you doesn't uh, install a um, network manager and network manager applet you are unable to use network on uh, Fluxbox if you use Wi-Fi connection with Wi-Fi connection on your PC or laptop you are basically fucked if you are not uh, installed the uh, network manager applet and network manager on SUSE 
or I just don't uh, know or I'm not familiar with the uh, other SUSI tools to uh, maintain a uh, stable and working uh, network connection. Uh, I'm just 100% uh, sure if you use uh, Network Manager, Applet and Network Manager, you will manage to uh, start and maintain your network connection with Fluxbox regardless of your distribution, regardless of the system you use.